A hospital catering to one of the largest elderly populations in England in its catchment area says it's managed to reduce the length of time older patients require beds. The Royal Bournemouth is working with local care groups to look after more people at home. Our health editor Hugh Pym reports now in the second of our series on the pressures facing those working on the front line of the NHS. We usually get a list of patients in the morning, which we see regularly on a maybe three times a week basis or daily. We try and keep people independent in their own homes. Was he eating and drinking as he would do normally, or was he off his food slightly? Oh, he was in a real state. He couldn't even sit up properly in bed. Just it's just gone 8 o'clock, and district nurse Marion has a busy day ahead. But there are calls to take, too. Take his blood sugar at lunchtime again, just to make sure that it's not dropping again. Our first patient this morning is a lady who lives in a care home. Um, she's diabetic, so we visit her daily. Shelley, I'm just going to give my hands a wash, OK? okay. You've had your marmalade on it this morning. Nice <laughs> <laughs> sharp prick come out. Well done. Shirley has her own reasons for avoiding a return to hospital. My husband died in there quite recently, so it's not more happy memories. We try our best to keep people out of hospital. It's so disorientating for them. The home is the best place. You know, we're now regularly looking after 90-plus um, with long-term conditions that aren't necessarily going to get better. So what's different about Dorset? Health groups work together and pool their money to look after people away from hospital, if possible. When the NHS was first set up, we were designed to treat the sick, and hospitals were there to provide care for people when they become unwell. We know that that is really the worst way to be using our money. If we do everything the way we do it now, we'll just be watching with our older population. We'll need to build more and more beds. They're going to come out twice a day initially, just to make sure that, you're in, that your pain's under control. Ernest is 95. The aim? Get him home quickly, but safely. We don't feel that this is the right environment for older patients. It's busy, it's noisy, it's bright, it's loud. This can be disorientating for them, confusing for them. My second patient today is John. He unfortunately has a palliative diagnosis. Good morning. Morning, John. It's the district nurses. Hello, darling. Thank you. He has now entering his last stage of life. I've spoken to you both on the phone a few times, have you but really? you haven't actually. No, but yet, my have colleagues you? have been in to see you. Oh yeah, I can see that's a little bit school. Do you want a bit of cream on there? John is 96. He can spend his final months at home. Oh, it makes all the difference in the world. But you can't be you can't be home into your own home, especially with, with the balcony and the and the views out and the sea. The yeah. skin underneath was a little bit sore. Is that better? Well, well, In Dorset, all the partners, which was the hospitals, the community trusts, the GPs, local authorities and social services, we all got together and we said, what are the priorities for investment? If we were to imagine all our funds together, what are the priorities? And we said, actually, the priority is outside hospital. Remember Ernest? <laughs> Being back home, well, the difference is obvious. I'm all right now, you yeah. know. If our service wasn't here, we'd quite likely be admitted into an acute bed for a period of time. See how these legs are working? Where, where do you want to right, Just up to the lamppost and back. Yeah. The amount of people you actually get out that would have either been in the hospital, I think, like recently, I think a couple of months ago, we something like, something like 60, 70 patients out through the month, and that's a good couple of wards worth of patients that would have been sat in hospital. We'll head on back inside then, yeah? It's the future. What's best for the hospitals under strain... Well, that was not bad, eh? ..is also best for the patients.